Hi guys! Today I thought we would read another book that was one of our favorites in class. It has a character that we love. We read one of his books in wintertime when he went out in the snow in his red snowsuit. Do you know who I'm talking about? You're right. It was Peter. And then we had a whole week of reading books about Peter, written by Ezra Jack Keats. He was the author we were learning about. And this one was called Whistle for Willie. Do you remember who Willie is? This is Peter. This is Willie, the dog. Whistle for Willie. Are you ready? I'm so excited. I love this book. Ezra Jack Keats is one of my favorite authors. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. Peter. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy would whistle, the dog ran straight toward him. Peter tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he started to twirl himself around and around and around. Do you know what happens when you turn yourself around and around and around? You get dizzy, that's right. Miss Michelle gets sick. <laughs> when he stopped, everything was going down and up. And up and down and around and around. Ooh, dizzy. <laughs> Peter saw Willie coming. Quick as, a, quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I could whistle, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around and wonder who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Poor Peter, he's so hard. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took a piece of chalk out of his pocket, and he drew a long line on the sidewalk around the girls paying jump rope. <laughs> on down, around the barber pole, right up to his door. He stopped and tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house, and he put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. After all, he has on his father's hat. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother giggled and said, why no, he's outside with Willie. We'll all go look for them there, said Peter. Did you hear him using his deep daddy voice? First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk, trying not to fall off. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. That's hard to do. <laughs> he jumped up off of his shadow, but when he landed, they were back together again. Have you ever done that on the sidewalk? He came to the corridor where the carton was. And who should he see coming? It was Willie. Oh my. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and he blew and he blew. Suddenly, guess what? Out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. We know who it was, don't we? It was Peter. It's me, Peter shouted and he stood up and Willie ran straight toward him. Peter ran straight home to show his father and his mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Look at Peter. So cute. Whistling. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way to the grocery store. And he whistled all the way home. The end. That was Whistle for Willie. Can you whistle? I remember reading this book, and I remember all those kids that could whistle were doing a lot of whistling that day, huh? And the others were trying really hard. And do you remember me telling you, Miss Michelle could not whistle? I never have been able to. Can you? If you can't, it's okay. I bet there's something else neat that you can do. Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. Have a great day, guys.